Hello students, in this video let us try to understand operations on like cells. Before this we have studied what are like cells. We are going to learn how the four basic operations are being done on these like cells. So the basic four operations as we know addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We will see how we can add or subtract or multiply or divide to like cells. So first of all we start with the addition and the subtraction. To understand this, we will have some examples. The question is simplify 5 root 3 plus 8 root 3. So these are the two cells given. We have to add these two. First of all, we should understand one basic rule to add or subtract any two cells is that order of those two cells must be equal and radicand must be also equal then only we can add or subtract those two cells so for this example as we can see order of these two cells are equal that is 2 and radicands are also equal that is 3 so while adding these two only we have to add the numbers which are outside the cells that is 5 and 8 so we can add these two as 5 plus 8 into root 3 as root 3 is taken common over here we have to just add 5 and 8 so 5 plus 8 that's 13 root 3 so the addition of 5 root 3 and 8 root 3 is 13 root 3 let us have the next question 9 root 5 minus 4 root 5 plus under root 125 now as we can observe both operations we have to done in this example that is subtraction is there and addition is there so the basic rule is same here the order of these two cells must be equal which is there as we can see order of these all cells is 2 and radicand must be also equal for first two cells the radicand is 5 but for the third cell it is 125 so we have to make some adjustments to have the radicand same as 5 so for that one we'll take first two cells it is 9 root 5 minus 4 root 5 as it is plus we can split this 125 in two factors such that one of them must be a perfect square that is 125 can be also written as 25 into 5 as 25 5s are its 125 out of which 25 is a square of 5 now to the next step we will take again the first two cells as it is if we take 25 outside the square root sign its square root should be taken and square root of 25 is 5 so the number we get 5 root 5 now as we can observe for all these cells order is equal and radicand is also equal now we can operate addition or subtraction on these cells so numbers along with these cells are 9 4 and 5 so we can take them in bracket that is 9 minus 4 plus 5 bracket complete and, and outside the bracket we can have root 5 which is common so 9 minus 4 that's 5 and 5 plus 5 it should be 10 and root 5 as it is so the addition and subtraction of these cells is 10 root 5 let us have the next question 7 root 48 minus root 27 minus root 3 again the same rule is here we have to have the same radicands for all these these cells for that we have to make some adjustments we we'll take the first cell as 7 into root here 48 can be split as 16 into 3 out of which 16 is a perfect square and 16 these are 48 for the second third it can be split into 9 into 3 9 threes are 27 and 9 is the perfect square of 3 minus the last third as it is for the first third if we take 16 outside the square root sign it should be 4 because the square root of 16 is 4 so the number we get 7 into 4 root 3 minus here also if you take 9 outside the square root sign its square root should be taken that is 3 root 3 minus last third as it is minus root 3 so 7 into 4 that's 28 root 3 minus 3 root 3 minus root 3 now for all these thirds we have the orders equal radicands which are also equal so we can have in bracket 28 minus 3 minus 1 
into root 3 which is common so 28 minus 3 that's 25 25 minus 1 that's 24 root 3 so this is the answer so this is the simplest form of all these three sirs let us have another question root 7 minus 3 by 5 root 7 plus 2 root 7 so as we can see for all these three sirs orders are equal and radicands are also equal so only we have to add or subtract the numbers along with them that is in bracket we should have for the first sir no number is given over here that's why we should treat it as 1 it is 1 minus 3 by 5 plus 2 bracket complete outside the square root sign we have root 7 as common so only we have to simplify this one 1 minus 3 by 5 plus 2 so while doing that 1 plus 2 that's 3 minus 3 by 5 into root 7 as it is now here we have to cross multiply because for the first number denominator is not given so it can be written as 3 divided by 1 minus 3 by 5 into root 7 now here the denominators are not equal so we should cross multiply 5 into 3 that's 15 minus 3 into 1 that's 3 divided by 5 into 1 that's 5 into root 7 as it is so 15 minus 3 that's 12 divided by 5 into root 7 this is how we can simplify these sirs to get the answer 12 by 5 root 7 so this is how we can add or subtract sirs i hope you understand the concept thanks for watching